Hi there, Flat Cap Chef here. I'm just going to show you how to make turkey kebabs. Uh, it's a really quick and easy thing to do. Um, I've got my turkey meat here. It's breast meat. It's been chopped up. About a couple hundred grams per person. Which will uh, fill a uh, good lens skewer. Uh, I've then got uh, this. I'm creating a marinade for this before we actually cook it. Some olive oil, salt, some smoked paprika and some cayenne pepper. One lime. And here I have one teaspoon of corn flour. There we go. So I'm just going to make a little marinade. I'm going to pop the chicken in, cover it in cling film, and put it back into the fridge for at least half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, you can leave it as long as you like. You do it overnight if you want to. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, if I can find the right one. Smoked paprika. Mm. A little bit more than two, but it doesn't matter. There we go. I'm going to add a good twist of salt, so about half a teaspoon. I'm going to add oh, a couple of Big tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil here. Okay. And then I'm going to juice this lemon. Sorry, lime. That's this lime. So um, when you're juicing a lime, quick tip: um, if you get the fruit and then you just roll it on a hard surface, give it a good push down, you'll find it's much easier to get the juice out. So let's chop that in half. And give that a good squeeze. You can do it into your hand like this, you can catch the pips so they won't fall into your marinade. If they do, don't worry, just fish them out. That's really a nice juicy lemon. Lemon, keep saying lemon. Lime. Here we go. So the other half. Got some sharpness and some heat in this marinade. It works really well with turkey meat. There we go. And then I just need my little whisk. Give it a little whisk around. All nicely combined. Take through the corn flour. Make sure that breaks up. Got this lovely red marinade. I do it in the bowl that I'm actually going to put uh, my turkey into. I don't waste any of it sticking to the side. There we go. In with my turkey. There we go. And it sleeps back. In with the fingers, washed hands of course. Make sure everything gets really nicely coated. Gets a great flavour. There we go. So I'm going to pop that in the fridge, covered with cling film, um, and then we'll be back a bit later. Okay, so they've now I've been in the fridge for a while marinating, and now I'm going to get them ready to go onto the grill. I'm going to grill these. So I've got my uh, my metal skewers, you can use wooden skewers if you want. If you do, just um, soak them for half an hour in water so they don't catch fire quite so easily. I'm going to use um, some red onion, a few uh, mushrooms and some uh, yellow pepper to mix it up a bit with my kebab. So in terms of prep, um, with the onion, you're talking about peel it, halve it, quarter it, and then you're looking to take out each of the pieces like this. Very easy to do, separate them out. And then I just cut these in half. And then I've got enough to thread. There we go. And then when it comes to pepper, 
Uh, you take the center out, top off, take the center out, cut it out, and then I just cut about two centimeters, three quarters of an inch rounds. There we go. And then cut it so you've got to open it up into a little strip, and then I'm cutting squares of this kind of size, about the same size as the onion. There we go. So I'll do those later. So then all you've got to do is get your now marinated turkey, thread it on. I tend to do it with the um, this part of the onion facing inwards, the concave bit. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. So it butts up against the meat quite well. I'm going to put a little mushroom on there and then I'm going to put another piece of meat. You can actually, if it's too, if it's too broad, just fold it over and you get kind of a double piece. There we go. And I'll keep building those. And in the meantime, I've got my grill on heating up or on a hot grill. You can uh, put these on a barbecue or you could um, fry them in a pan. I'm going to grill these ones. So I've got my tray ready to put my finished kebab skewers on and then I'll be back. Okay, so there we are. They're now uh, threaded and I've actually made four. So I'm going to put a couple in the fridge actually, uh, which I'll keep for a day. Um, uh, and these I'm going to now put under the grill, under a hot grill. I'm going to just drizzle some oil on them just to make sure they stay nice and moist, particularly the mushrooms. Um, and I'm going to turn them, watch them carefully, I'm going to turn them every two to three minutes, well, probably three to four minutes actually, um, because you want to make sure they're cooked evenly, so you just pick it up and turn it around like this. And I can do this because I'm going to put some more oil on there. There we go. And they'll, they'll take about 12 to 15 minutes. You want to make sure the turkey is cooked. They will cook quite quickly, because the recipe is quite thin. But you don't want to cook it too much because it will dry out. Um, and that's not very nice if it dries out. So um, I'll put them on the grill and then we'll be back to see what they look like. Okay, there we are, now cooked. Uh, and this one was in for uh, 16 minutes. And mm, it tastes delicious. You can see it's hot, so I'm holding it with a towel. So um, you can serve this with, um, I'm serving it with crispy cow, but you can serve it with uh, chips, and rice, whatever you want. So uh, if you like this and you want to see more, then um, just subscribe to the channel, it's free. And it just means you get an update um, whenever I post my videos, which is usually two, three times a week. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.